and Tony Russo. And the official for this one, Stu Schwartz. And getting things underway, we have Jay Youngblood in there with Hans Schroeder, the big man from Germany. Throws Jay into the ropes, and he comes out with a shoulder block, but he doesn't move, the big fellow. Once again, side headlock by Jay Youngblood. Into the ropes once again, and still not able to knock the big man from Germany to the mat. There we see Mark Youngblood, the bigger one of the two brothers on the outside, cheering his brother on. And Jay goes to the ropes once again, comes up, and this time catches him with a drop kick right on the button. And that one puts Schroeder to his knees. We know one team that will be watching these two, and that is the current World Tag Team Champions, Don Kernodal and Ivan Kola, who are managed by Gary Hart. And I'm sure that they'll be watching this match very closely because the Youngblood brothers are right on their tail. They want to get a shot at that World Tag Team Championship. In comes Jay once again and unloads with a good chop to the throat area of Hans Schroeder. Side wrist lock and takes him down to the mat. I'd like to inform all our fans out there if there are any comments you would like to make about Maple Leaf Wrestling or any questions you have in mind that you would uh, like to ask, you can now do so by writing to Maple Leaf Wrestling care of Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto, Canada, M5B1L1. Tony Russo, good move. Takes Jay to the mat, however, he comes right up again. Now Russo goes to whip him into the ropes, but Youngblood turns the tables and a beautiful monkey flip. That's what we call it, coming out of the corner. Jay sets him up in a position for the suplex. Goes for the pin. And just enough for a one count. There you see that address once again. If you'd like to make any comments or questions about Maple Leaf Wrestling, you can now do so by writing to Maple Leaf Wrestling Care of Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto, Canada. M5B1L1. And the Youngblood brothers continue to pour it on Tony Russo. Mark Youngblood, the bigger of the two brothers. A little bigger than Jay, and they say he's stronger than Jay also. And Russo now moves Mark Youngblood into his own corner. And they go to work on Mark Youngblood. Hans Schroeder whoops him into the rope. Oh, and catches him in the midsection, coming off with a vicious knee. Reaches down, picks him up, and drives him into the mat. Doesn't go for the pin. Instead, applies a reverse chin lock. Good shot of Hans Schroeder there. I mentioned that Don Kernodal and uh, Ivan Koloff would be watching this, uh, the combination of Mark and Jay Youngblood. And I'm also sure that Dick Slater and Bob Orton are watching these two young fellows very closely also. Because they'd sure like to get a shot at that World Tag Team Championship. And both of these teams are leading contenders, Orton and Slater and the Young Blood. And Jay Youngblood now making, giving his little dance around the ring, gives Russo a chop to the top of the head, picks him up, whoops him into the ropes once again and catches him with a double chop coming up. Now, Jay outside, up under the top rope, up he goes, 
off he comes with another hard chop to the top of the head, goes for the pin, and this one's all over. And the winners, Mark and Jay Youngblood.